Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to color in the lines in Eclipse Studio Paint. So you're going to go to your fill bucket tool and you're going to press it and then this is the original layer with the line art. So I just press the inside. I also have closed gap to max so it doesn't it doesn't get the twig. So it colored in everything but it's also on the same layer. So if you don't mind that, then this is fine. This works for you. But if you do, and you want this separately, you're just going to have to delete this, go back, and then press your magic wand, and then just press it. And then you're going to go to a different layer. And then you're going to grab the bucket tool, and then you're going to fill this. And then this will be on a different layer than the line art. So that is another way. But if you don't want um, the magic tool, you can also use the lasso tool. This could be good for like shadows if you're doing. So you can just outline this. And when you're done, you just press the fill tool. And then you're filled in. But you can go further. And then you can add some shadows to this with the lasso. It's way easier with the lasso. You just add shadow like this. And then that's your tomato. You can also... Let's just delete all of this first. Now you're gonna go back to your magic tool and then you're gonna press outside. Or you're gonna go to the liner and then you're gonna press outside of the line art and then you're going to press invert selected area so that is going to select everything in here so what you can do is just pick like a lighter color and then fill this in on a different layer and then you can put this layer under the line art and then you're going to make another layer and then you're going to clip this clip to layer below so then you can either do magic tool, lasso, or you can just go in yourself. Let's say you want to go red. And you're going to make your brush a bit bigger. So then if you try drawing, it's not going to go outside of the line art. It's going to stay inside. So then you don't have to worry about going outside the lines. If you did go outside the lines here, you can just erase this, or you can make a layer above this and clip the layer below. It's not going to clip to the red, it's going to clip to our normal color. And then I'm going to press green, and this is going to go over because it's on top. And then let's do this as well. So that is how you fill in the gaps in the Clip Studio Paint. If you guys enjoyed, give a like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm, and goodbye.